What's up? We're here with Jack Jaguar at Ghost Events and Gaming doing a cash tier deck profile. Yes, what, sir. what you got for us, Jack? Um, this is just a quick deck profile on what I'm playing for cash tier right now. Obviously, we're still waiting for a ban list and LED is coming out soon. But this is just what I'm on right now and I just felt like sharing it. So, And it's giving me some success at locals, so I thought it was just worth giving it a shot and explaining some stuff. But to get straight forward, awesome. three Fenrir, the usual. Uh, three Unicorn. Um, I am on three Arise Heart. Um, I like three better than two. Um, I'll explain later, but uh, we do make Baguska with this going first in most ideal hands. Um, I'm trying this. Um, originally, the Ogre and Preparation Package weren't supposed to be in here, but I decided I wanted to give it a try because a lot of times I miss having the extra body, and I think the Preparation Hand Rip uh, comes in handy. Um, and then the one Scare Claw. And that's it for the cash monsters. And then just the normal lineup, uh, the three pressure planet, technically four, and then three birth, three theosis, just the normal, have to play it. Uh, three prosperity, um, I was on heat soul, but I decided the heat soul just wasn't worth it. It plays into nib, um, so this is just better it's just more value than heat soul and it just digs you more for more things especially your side deck going to game two and three uh hand traps we've got the three shifter the honorary cash tira and then we've got imperm three ash um only two mourner uh just because uh it, it works better on your opponent's turn so you don't want to have too many during your turn because you know the the timing window for it doesn't work in your favor with player priority, so we don't like too many. Uh, just one bell. Uh, there's one in the side that I'll go over later, um, but you usually take it out because of Shifter and you put in Macrocosmos. Uh, then the one Ghost Ogre. Just trying it against uh, Voiceless Voice right now, and just to kind of see how it helps there. And then... Uh, finally, just one nib. I'm a little iffy on this one. I don't really like nib, but I feel like we have to play it in snake for snake eye. But I also don't enjoy having just the one. But I don't know. We're still testing it. We'll figure it out. It's more. I'm just playing it for now until we get the ban list. And then the one uh, talents. Um, for extra deck, uh, just two link monsters. We just have little knight and mascarena. Um, my normal ending board with this usually. The more common ones after this are the Baguska and the Shang. Um, normally, just with the normal hand, the ideal is just ending Mascarena with Baguska. This is usually achievable with, um, let's see, ideally a Unicorn, a Rice Heart, and one of uh, the either Theosis or the Birth. Obviously, a uh, Unicorn grabs the other. And then with this combo, you basically would just banish the Fenrir with Rice Heart, bring out Fenrir with Birth, Fenrir grab the Rice Heart. So then when these two go away into um, ideally the Little Knight in that situation, then, <clears throat> then you would link those for the Little Knight, then use the Rice Heart from hand to bring it out, and then the Theosis to grab the third copy, and you basically turn those two into Baguska. So you'll end on Baguska, uh, not Mascarina, Baguska, Little Knight, and Fenrir. And it's usually enough, especially with hand traps and if you shifted already. So this is kind of like my ideal first going first board now. So and then with the extra deck, uh, one Typhon, and then for the Mountain Smasher, it's mainly just to make the Zeus into a four material. Most cases, um, the adding a thousand a thousand attack doesn't really come up. Um, one thing I found that I also enjoy with it is against Pure Snake Eye, since they only play the one Oak. Um, it's nice that if you're able to stop their plays, then you can just attack them to it. Ooh. Dog interruption. <laughs> Hello. Doing good. And then um, with Smasher, you just take that take that monster as material, take away their Oak, and then hold it prisoner under Zeus, basically. So that's what that's for. And then the going second package, we have the Utopic Draco Futures. Um, they're only for going second. If you're going first and you prosperity, these are your first things that you get rid of for sure. Um, they don't come up too often, but they're still nice to have. And then the Flare Metal for Burn, Harmonizer. 
Um, it comes up against Rogue and Pure Snake Eyes sometimes. Recently I was against uh, E-Heroes and they were just making DPE over and over, so I had this to just take and suck up the DPE. So, I mean, just against Rogue matchups, it's just a little funny. But this could be something else that might be better. Um, dad, Dad's the best. I'm thinking about playing maybe two Dad instead of a second Dad instead of the Draco Sack. Because going second to make the Utopic board, um, you could make two of these and get four pops instead um, versus these two which only give you three and then you would go on top of them for the Draco future. Um, that's a work in progress still. Of course Big Eye just to force plays and take monsters and then the one Baron because we play so many hand traps that are level three that we can just normal if we get hand trapped to death like a Mourner on our Unicorn or Fenrir then we can just normal summon a hand trap and make Baron and pass and in some weird cases that can be enough. Um, sorry for the side deck. This one's a little undecided still, but it's a work in progress. Uh, three sphere mode, um, mainly for voices. Voice, uh, let's see. Then we have Ghost Bell, the other nib, uh, the board breakers, lightning storm, duster, cosmic cyclone, and then for the going first traps, dimension barrier, cosmos, summon limit, and then the three solemn judgment. And that's pretty much it for the deck profile. This is just until the ban list. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.